This Wisdom 2.0 is looking for inner peace, and you sort of have a hack into that. How does a, that work? A little bit of a hack, yeah. There's a little bit of a hack on increasing inner peace. Um, Matt Lieberman, in 2007 at UCLA, did a study where he put people in an fMRI machine. fMRI. fMRI, which is a functional MRI machine. It's a way to look at the brain in as close to real time as possible. Um, it's a little bit of a, a fuzzy uh, logic uh, technology, but it, it, it's better than uh, some of the other technologies that were developed previously. So that you put people in an fMRI machine, and you show them emotionally charged pictures or sounds, and uh, you measure the brain's reaction. And so he figured out that when you tell the, um, the name of the emotion that you're experiencing, the portion of the brain that creates that negative emotion immediately shuts down or downregulates much quicker, which alleviates you of the negativity of the emotion that you are feeling or witnessing at that moment in comparison to the control group, which were just experiencing the emotions and the brain would stay activated and stay feeling ucky. So um, there is a cognitive process that when you're thinking about the emotion that you're having and that you're understanding the emotion that you're having, it immediately downregulates that emotion. And so from that base, what I was able to develop was a system of understanding how emotions work from a perspective of the moving parts in the brain that help create all emotions, the process that your unconscious thinking goes through to create that emotion. Now when you put that into your conscious thinking, of understanding exactly what triggered your emotion and exactly how your mind is processing that emotion and exactly what is happening within your mind, that has the same exact effect of the name it, tame it result that Matt Lieberman got at UCLA in 2007. So by thinking about what it was that triggered your emotion and the thing that you're attached to or that you care about that helped create that emotion, those are the two um, variables that are in play. This is a portion of your sense of self, and this is the thing that happened in the world that you're not agreeing with or that you are agreeing with in the event of a positive emotion. So at the point that you start to look at those two things from a cognitive perspective, that has the same effect of the Matt Lieberman down-regulation of the, the negative emotion in play. So at the point that you understand the system of how the emotion comes to be, you start to have a willful control of which emotions that you want to allow through to fruition. Just so, by understanding them. Yeah, just by understanding that process. So you can allow the positive emotions through, but at the same time, if you want to immediately downregulate your emotions, and you, you can choose not to, you can choose to utilize anger positively uh, if you need to utilize anger, but if you're in a situation where anger is uh, not necessarily a, a beneficial result or can inhibit you from what needs to be accomplished, um, you can choose to downregulate that from a very conscious standpoint. And so by understanding the, the cognitive catalysis or the process that the brain uses subconsciously to create the emotions, if you train yourself and practice in understanding the components and looking at the components, that down regulates the emotion immediately, but then over time what happens is that the subconscious portion of your brain starts to take over and says, you constantly want to do that, so I'm going to start doing that for you. And at that point, the unconscious brain starts down regulating negative emotion before it comes into true fruition, which then opens the door for kind of a, a, a semi-nirvana state where you're always in a great mood and the things that would normally perturb you don't perturb you as much. They don't upset you as much. They don't get to your goat as much uh, as a slogan that we use in the West sometimes. Um, and so from an unconscious standpoint, they down regulate and make your world a better place naturally simply by practicing down regulation over time. Amazing. This is... Uh Sean Webb, find him on Facebook and uh, ask him more questions if you have, right? Yeah, sure. What's your website called, the school? Um, the well, you can get, I have a podcast that you can find at IamSpirituality.com, which is uh, basically one of the best URLs that I could find. I wish it was better, but it's IamSpirituality.com, and there's a little podcast there. You can sign up. You can get the videos of me explaining exactly how the emotions work. Um, and you can understand exactly how your fear works, how your anger works, how your sadness works, how worry and regret and all these things work 
so that you can then, as soon as they hit you, put a cognitive process to that and immediately down-regulate them to where you can live your life without being controlled by your emotions. You're now in control of your emotions. Wow. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really honored meeting you.